sang Ohio's praise and songs through Alma Mater rang. While our hearts rebounding thrill and joy which death alone can still, summer's heat or oh, winter's cold, the seasons pass. The years will roll. Time and change will surely show how firm thy friendship, oh, yo Go Bucks. Hello, and welcome to the 2020 pre-commencement celebration of the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. I'm Dr. Deborah Larson, director of the school, and it is my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the faculty and staff of the school. We know this is not the celebration that you anticipated, nor is it the celebration that would plan for more than a year. Nonetheless, it is a celebration to recognize this exemplary class of 2020 amidst this worldwide pandemic. Today, we celebrate graduates from athletic training, health information management and systems, health sciences, medical dietetics, medical laboratory sciences, occupational therapy, physical therapy, radiation therapy, radiography, respiratory therapy, and sonography, as well as our master's and PhD in health and rehabilitation sciences. Welcome to all of our graduates and their families and friends. We've all heard the term unprecedented over the last few months, probably more than at any time in all of our lives. We would, who would have thought that we would leave for spring break and not return to Atwell Hall? Or anticipated the change in our vocabulary to include social distancing, PPE, virtual gatherings, and remote learning? Nor the amazing ability to stay connected through WebEx, Zoom, FaceTime, Facebook, Skype, Snapchat, Twitter, and so many more. I'm sure I'm not the only one spending time watching creative YouTube videos and memes aimed at our social distancing. Unprecedented is right. We can also use the term unprecedented to describe this group of graduating students. First, this is our largest group of graduates in the school's history, with 529 earning their degrees this semester. 421 of those are bachelor's degrees, 17 master's degrees, 49 doctorate of physical therapy degrees, 46 occupational therapy doctoral degrees, and one PhD. Congratulations to all of you. Within this group, we also have 99 first-generation college students. Congratulations to you and your families for this amazing achievement. This group of graduates has shown themselves to be tenacious and resilient, flexible and creative, dedicated to their studies and their fellow students, and committed to making the world a better place. We went from face-to-face -face classes and clinical practica to remote learning and telehealth, yet you made these transitions without complaint and you excelled in your final weeks just as you have done for your career as students. While we will recognize all of our graduates, I want to take a few minutes to acknowledge those that have earned special recognition. Today, we have 204 undergraduate students graduating with Latin and honors. 25 are graduating summa cum laude with a grade point average of 3.9 and above. 90 are graduating magna cum laude with a grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. 89 are graduating cum laude with a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Congratulations to all of those graduating with Latin and honors. I want to note that such honors are not given to graduate students as the degree is considered recognition of excellence on its own. However, we do have one undergraduate and nine graduate students that are completing their degrees with a perfect 4.0. Emily Rice in medical dietetics is our undergraduate. Hannah Huffman, Jessica Jung, Catherine Petro, Nan Radabaugh, and Melissa Solano from dietetics are also graduating with a 4.0. So 
Sundas Mohammed earned her master's degree with a four point, and Mary Drockton earned hers in occupational therapy. Julia Goodwin and Amanda Stanislavitis in physical therapy also had 4.0s. Congratulations to all of you for your exemplary work. Also within this amazing group of students, we have six active military service members and one veteran. Kayla Dixon in HIMSS, Alexander, Alexandra Kissel in AT, Addison Newsom in Health Sciences, Elizabeth Poland in Health Sciences, Alexis Stam in Athletic Training, Tori Young in Health Sciences are our active service members, and Alexis Earp in Health Sciences is our veteran. Thank you all for your service. In addition, Jason Cable is one of our online health sciences graduates. He is a firefighter and paramedic in Upper Arlington, right here in Central Ohio. So we thank him for his frontline service during this pandemic. The university and school are also dedicated to a research mission in order to advance the science of our fields. Many students participate in research practica over the time they're here, and many have found a passion for it. And every year, the university holds a competitive admission research symposium. This year, four students were chosen to participate. Gina Gugliotta, Elizabeth Mance, Dustin Nelson, all from Health Sciences, and Anna Pei from Dietetics were selected to participate. Finally, our students are committed to their professions in their community, aiming to improve the health and well-being of vulnerable individuals. Over the last year, they provided service to 50 different organizations, including Primary One Southside Clinic, Fresh Air and Champ Camps, Broad Street, the Broad Street Food Pantry, Goodwill of Columbus, Out of the Darkness Suicide Walk, and Running with the Buckeyes. Wow, as is evident from this list of accomplishments and activities, our graduates have embraced their Buckeye spirit, demonstrating commitment to their studies advancing the science in their fields, and committing themselves to their programs, the school and university, their professions, and the community. However, we know that no graduate gets to this stage without the love and support of many. On behalf of the graduates, I'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of the parents, partners, spouses, friends, and others that have provided that support. Now for you graduates, you are destined to enter the workforce at a time of great change and some uncertainty. However, you are well prepared to embrace the future of healthcare, and you are poised to influence how that healthcare looks in the coming decades. We believe that each of the graduates will have expanding opportunities in the coming decades and will contribute to improving the health and well being of everyone. Embrace the change that awaits you and make you, your mark on the future as you have done here in HRS. Thank you for all of your hard work, resiliency, and commitment as students. You have truly left your mark on the hearts of the faculty and staff and within the records of the school. Best wishes to each of you as you transition to the next stage of your life. Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay Lanning and I am a Health Information Management Systems graduate from the class of 2015. And I'm here on behalf of the Health and Rehabilitation Sciences Alumni Association. First and foremost, I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. And thank you for providing me with the opportunity to speak to you all on such an exciting and important day, even if it is through a pre-recorded message instead of our usual in-person celebration. No matter the communication channel we use today, the message remains the same. The years of hard work and dedication to your discipline have finally paid off. And tomorrow you will graduate from one of the finest allied health programs in the nation. I was you only five years ago. I know the anticipation you're feeling to get your diploma and start a new chapter, either to further your education or enter the professional world, which could look quite different than in the past. Some of you may even be entering the front lines of this pandemic. Either way, the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, your faculty and staff, has given you the groundwork the knowledge, and hopefully the courage to go after whatever you want in life. I encourage you to realize those opportunities and find within yourself the reasons to come back. Not necessarily come back to Atwell Hall, but to come back as alumni and give back in some way. Our alumni members have a proud history of profound contributions in the healthcare field, and you all will be no different, especially as we consider the current impact of COVID-19. As you step in to continue this tradition of innovation and service in this field, your many different paths will cross for various reasons, 
And we want our alumni network to be one of those reasons. We host all types of alumni events throughout the year, from networking trivia to most recently axe throwing, and of course, a homecoming weekend celebration. But there are many other opportunities for alumni to interact and stay involved. A lot of our alumni remain actively connected via social media. Yes, we are on Instagram, participating in networking events, engaging in mentoring opportunities, hosting practice placements for students, and even in engaging in alumni leadership committees and the alumni board. It doesn't matter how big or small your participation is, just plant the seed now and make it part of your future. Take it from me when I say following our Instagram today could lead to sharing an event with your friend a year from now, which could lead to joining the board and eventually holding a position on that board. It happens and I'm living proof. Because hear this, I promise as ready as you are now to get out of there and be done with school in just a few short years or even less, you'll be wanting to come back. You'll miss the undeniable sense of community, inspiring traditions, and overall sense of home you've built these last four years. Being part of this board has helped me get that sense of community back and ease that small feeling of homesickness that seemed to linger after graduation. So while you venture forth as new alumni of Ohio State, I urge you to consider engaging with the vast network of alumni wherever you may be in the world and commit to volunteering your time for alumni activities while also enjoying alumni events. You will realize that as you maintain your ties with the school in whatever way possible and network with its alumni, it will enrich your Ohio State experience and your career in healthcare. I speak from my own experiences. I have been actively involved with our alumni association for the past four years. I can proudly say that my life has truly been impacted. In this diverse global alumni network, we all share a common love of our education at this school and the pride of being in the alumni network that will continue to nurture and influence our careers. Our OSU stories have played a major role in shaping us. We all leave this place with memories and experiences that have shaped our future for good and serve as a springboard for the next phase of life. The Ohio State HRS Alumni Association is really all about this next phase. Our purpose is to help you stay connected to OSU, because believe it or not, you now have at least one thing in common with all of those who've come before you. You can sit down with total strangers and develop instant rapport over stories of Muir Lake, Thompson Library, Atwell Hall, and all other things Ohio State. Do not make the mistake of discounting these instant connections. They form a web, a network that can be both uplifting and incredibly useful. Class of 2020. After tomorrow, you will all be official alumni of the Ohio State University. I hope that you will stay connected with the school and the Alumni Association and to see you at a future alumni event. We wish you the very best in your careers. Your fellow alumni are rooting for you. So congratulations, graduates, and welcome to the Buckeye family. Hello, my name is Marsha Nahikian Nelms. I'm Director of Academic Affairs in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, and I have the honor to announce the recipients of this year's Award of Merit honorees. The Award of Merit is the highest undergraduate award in our school and is based upon academic achievement, research, and contributions to the school, university, and the community. This year's nominees and awardees are impressive, not only in their academic achievements, but in the significant contributions such as conducting and publishing research in their field, working with underserved populations and at-risk youth in our community, as well as serving as mentors for other students at OSU. I know the world will be a better place with these graduates in charge of making our important decisions. Katie Boomhauer has majored in respiratory therapy with a minor in human development and family sciences. Katie has worked as a student research assistant in the Wexner Medical Center Pulmonary Critical Care Division and as a respiratory therapy technician at Nationwide Children's Hospital. While working and going to school, Katie has contributed to a wide array of service, including a Buckeye Serve trip working at an orphanage in Ghana, a camp for children with chronic respiratory illnesses, serving as a peer tutor and for charity beyond borders. Congratulations, Katie. Sydney Carlson majored in health sciences with a minor in sociology. Sydney was awarded the OSU Provost Scholarship and has worked as a peer mentor for incoming freshmen. Her service to Lifetown Columbus allowed her to guide a student with disabilities toward job skills 
and activities of daily living. Her service has also included working with Autism Speaks and Buckeyes in making res responsible leaders. Congratulations, Sydney. Caitlin Cutler majored in health sciences with a minor in speech and hearing. Caitlin has had a very active undergraduate career at Ohio State as a member in the pre-PT OT club, in the photography enthusiast club, Buckeyes Against Alzheimer's, and as a peer mentor for the OSU exploration. Her research with Dr. Carmen DeJovenet and the Smart Columbus Initiative has allowed her to teach adults with a cognitive disability how to use a smartphone app, allowing participants to get directions for the Code of Bus system. Caitlin was able to present this research at the Ohio Occupational Therapy Association State Conference. Congratulations, Caitlin. Gina Gugliotta is also one of our health science majors where she also minored in Spanish. Gina was fortunate to study abroad in Chile where she worked providing food, shelter, and medical care. She also completed a service learning experience in a pediatric rehabilitation center for children with musculoskeletal disabilities. Gina's other service has included, in part, working in the OSU TOPS program, assisting students with intellectual disabilities who, to succeed in their college experience and for the Muscle Movement Foundation. Gina has conducted four different research projects with Dr. Laura Schmidt, Dr. Boucher, and Dr. Bolte and has received the best poster for award for her research at the Sports Medicine Research Day. Gina also works as a rehabilitation aide and a student assistant at the RPAC Sports Medicine Clinic. Ethan Hosford majored in respiratory therapy. During his undergraduate career, he has provided significant leadership for the Universal Health Aid EMT organization, which provides health screening and health care for the underserved in Columbus. Ethan has taken his respiratory therapy expertise to provide education in the schools, at the PAST Foundation, as a CPR instructor, and at the Fresh Air Camp for Children with Respiratory Disease. Ethan has worked as a respiratory care assistant at Nationwide Children's during his undergraduate training. Ethan has also been a resident assistant at OSU and participated in Buckeye-Thon, one of our major fundraisers for charity at the university. Congratulations, Ethan. Erin Kaiser is also one of our health science students who minored in English. Erin has been a significant leader at Ohio State, where he has served on the undergraduate student government as a medical sciences senator, representing all health science related majors on campus. Erin also served on the Committee of Government Relations on the Student Body President's Cabinet. Erin served as the undergraduate chair for the University Research Committee. Erin worked with our Student Life Disability Service as the liaison for all military and veteran students. This year, he organized a TEDx lecture emphasizing student veterans overcoming struggles of returning to school. He also works with the student-run organization for military and veteran students, Vets for Vets. Erin's contribution for our veterans was recognized as he received the Veterans Community Advocate Award. Congratulations, Erin. Alexander Kissel is graduating from our athletic training program. Her service to the university is extensive, including working as a volunteer with Phoenix Physical Therapy, the OSU Football Physical Therapy, and Spring Ball as a volunteer. She also provided service to, through the Urban Myers Lead Like a Buckeye and the Buckeye-thon and the Ohio Athletic Training Association Symposium. And all of this has been on top of being a Division I athlete. Alexander was the team captain for the varsity rifle team, where she has been honored as an OSU Scholar Athlete, an Academic Big Ten Distinguished Scholar, and named to the Academic All-Team Big Ten Honors. Congratulations, Alexandra. Matthew Krill is graduating from our athletic training program. He has mentored 10 to 15 students every year, promoting the field of athletic training and assisting students as they move through their academic journey with the Dunn Sports and Wellness Scholars Mentorship. Matthew has conducted research with Drs. Borcher and Hewitt, and his contributions have led to three published articles. Matthew has worked as a safety monitor for sports summer camps and was chosen to be one of four summer interns with the Cleveland Browns. Congratulations, Matthew. Gina Lee is a student in our radiation therapy program. 
Gina is a moral scholar, a biological sciences scholar, and a recipient of the Electa Radiation Therapy Scholarship. She is the founder and president of Action Social Change and an active member of Pride OSU. Gina also has served our university and medical center, working as a trainer for student ambassadors. She has conducted research on injury and biomechanics with Dr. Randy Hunter, focused on the analysis of bone quality and predicting fracture risk. Gina also came to Ohio State with a very unique perspective. After her mother was diagnosed with glioblastoma, she made the decision to bring her mother with her to Columbus from Maryland. She served as her caretaker, support, and translator for her mother during her medical care. Certainly, she has demonstrated her capabilities not only as a caregiver, but as a selfless leader. I will share Gina's own words, that wherever she goes, she is obligated as an Ohio State graduate to apply her knowledge to be an active citizen. Mara Miller is graduating from our Health Information and Management Systems Program, where she has served as the president for the Student HEMS organization and as an HRS student ambassador. Mara has also worked as a student intern for the Integrated Health Information Management Systems Department and Medical Information Management at the Wexner Medical Center and OSU East. Mara also contributes to the daily care for her grandmother who has Alzheimer's, and this has led to her involvement with the OSU club Buckeyes Against Alzheimer's. Congratulations, Mara. Jimmy Nash has majored in health sciences with a minor in biology. Jimmy has provided significant leadership during his time at OSU, where he has served as the outreach chair for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, Undergraduate Re Recruitment Society, served as the Collegiate Mentor and Diversity Ambassador Captain with undergraduate admissions, and as a resident advisor. Jimmy has provided tutoring for both undergraduate chemistry and physiology courses. He has also completed two research projects, served as an intern and as a prevention specialist with Equitas Health. He also completed a study abroad experience in Paris and a Buckeye Surf trip providing flood relief in Louisiana. Congratulations, Jimmy. Emily Rice is graduating from medical dietetics with a 4.0 GPA. She has served as HRS student ambassador and as the president of the Student Dietetic Association. She has represented dietetics in two interprofessional outreach programs providing community health education and, a, and with a program called Hotspotting, whose aim is to reduce the use of emergency department visits. Emily was also named the outstanding dietetic student in the state of Ohio. Congratulations, Emily. Lauren Schopp is graduating from our respiratory therapy program, where she has served on the RT Leadership Council. Her service has included providing basic life support instruction for health science scholars, sharing her expertise with Charity Beyond Borders, and as a Fresh Air Camp medical buddy, she has mentored her colleagues in interprofessional simulation and was an intern at the National Meeting of the American Association for Respiratory Care. During her training, Lauren has also worked as a respiratory therapy technician at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. Lauren has received scholarships from the American Association of Respiratory Care, the OSU Provost Scholarship, and as a National Buckeye Scholar. Congratulations, Lauren. Taylor Sollers is also gradu graduating from re our respiratory therapy program, where she served on the leadership council and was chosen as an intern for the American Association for Respiratory Care. Taylor's other service has included traveling to Nicaragua for a medical mission trip, teaching about respiratory therapy at local STEM schools, and working with Charity Beyond Borders. Congratulations, Taylor, and all of our Award of Merit nominees and honorees. Congratulations. You will represent health and rehabilitation science as well as you move forward into your career. We wish you the best of luck and go Bucks. Hi, I'm Jill Clutter, Director of the Honors Program in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, and I have the distinct pleasure of recognizing this year's seniors who are graduating with honors from our school. Our honors program is designed to create a breadth of experiences that are aligned with the university honors program's goals of global awareness, original inquiry, academic enrichment, leadership development, and service engagement. To graduate with honors from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, each student completed activities across these domains designed to facilitate development in each of these core areas. 
These activities reflect experiences that go way above and beyond their degree program requirements. They ensure an extraordinary experience worthy of such a distinction for each of these students. Students graduating this year with honors designation from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences are Molly Elizabeth Adams, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Molly will attend the University of Toledo Medical School in autumn of 2020. Celeste Rebecca Borgmenke, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Celeste will begin the OSU Doctorate of Physical Therapy program starting this summer. Haley Christine Height, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Haley will begin the University of Cincinnati Doctorate of Physical Therapy program starting this summer. Alyssa Gabriela Kirkel, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Alyssa will attend the Cleveland State University Doctorate of Physical Therapy program starting in January of 2021. Amanda Catherine Micklow, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Amanda will be applying to medical school this year. She's currently a research assistant at McGee Women's Research Institute of Pittsburgh. Luke Tadus Waken, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Luke will begin his studies at the University of Houston College of Optometry this autumn. So congratulations to this year's seniors who are graduating with honors from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. We also have several students who will graduate with special designation from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences by completing an undergraduate research thesis. Conducting a thesis means gaining an exposure to the research process while developing, performing, and evaluating a research project under faculty guidance. The following students completed theses during their undergraduate academic careers and will graduate with research distinction. Caitlin Elizabeth Coulter, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Her thesis entitled, Travel Partner Satisfaction and Effectiveness of Wayfinder System Training Materials was completed under the mentorship of Dr. Carmen DeJovene. Donald J. Falbo, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. His thesis entitled, Cytotoxicity Study of 3D Printed Stiffness Matched Nitinol Mandibular Bone Fixation Devices was completed under the mentorship of Dr. David Dean from the Department of Plastic and Reconstructed Surgery. Julie Grace Meyer, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Her thesis entitled Single Leg Hop Biomechanics During Takeoff and Landing in College Female Varsity Athletes was completed under the mentorship of Dr. James Onati. Lauren K. Milkey, graduating from the Respiratory Therapy Program. Her thesis entitled The Effectiveness of Combining Interprofessional Education and peer teaching was completed under the mentorship of Dr. Georgiana Sergakis. Alec John Miller, graduating from the Health Sciences Program. His thesis entitled Loss of NAV 1.1 and Arrhythmias was completed under the mentorship of Dr. Premislaw Radwanski, College of Pharmacy. Jujen Anna Pei, graduating from the Medical Dietetics Program. Her thesis entitled Examination of Dietary Patterns and FODMAP Intake with Patients with Irritable Bowel Syndrome was completed under the mentorship of Dr. Kristen Roberts. Taylor Vassis is graduating from the Health Sciences Program. Her thesis entitled A Description of Exposure to Human Voice of post-surgical infants 
with congenital heart disease was completed under the mentorship of Dr. Tondi Harrison from the College of Nursing. A special thanks goes out to all the advisors and co-advisors for their mentorship throughout this process. And a big Buckeye congratulations to these young researchers. This is quite an accomplishment. Hello again. While I would love to be standing on a stage preparing to hand each of you a certificate acknowledging the completion of your program, those will be coming to you in a package from the school. Instead, I wish you and yours health and safety during this crisis and a future filled with the same successes that you've experienced as students. Now we will transition to division specific celebrations. Please enjoy and go Bucks. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2020 from Radiologic Sciences. I want to spend just a few minutes to talk about the special time that unfortunately has to be virtual. I started the video with a picture of me receiving my diploma from Dr. Atwell. This seems like a long time ago. It's actually almost 40 years ago that I graduated from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. At that graduation in the old Ohio Union, Ruth and I were classmates and we graduated together and we sang uh, Carmen, Ohio. And as part of that song, there's a phrase in the song, time and change. And specifically that phrase has great meaning now as we face your graduation in 2020. Certainly, it's been a time and change unprecedented. And I feel so bad that we've had to do graduation this way. But I just want to reflect a little bit about what this time is like and the changes that we have to look forward to. So let's talk about that. It's been a time of great disruption. And it began, actually, if you think about it, back in the summer. I'm standing here today um, doing the video in the lobby of the new Atwell Hall. And if you remember, in the summer, there was tremendous construction. Most of our summer semester was disrupted with all of the dust, the dirt. But now we have this wonderful lobby that hopefully soon we'll all be able to enjoy again. I think about the winter. The winter didn't have much snow, but it was bitterly cold. So that time during the winter was very, you know, unpleasant. And then, of course, St. Patrick's Day, that was our biggest time of disruption because that's when the pandemic started. So yes, it's been a lot of disruption during this time, but out of these times comes great change. And each of you have changed in a significant way to face this pandemic in a way that we need you more than ever. So what are the changes in healthcare that we're facing? Well, first of all, we have a tremendous need for specialized healthcare workers, and you all represent that. You were educated by our amazing faculty to face a time of great change. And I know that each one of you is uniquely prepared to provide this for all over the United States of America and all the patients that need your help so desperately. So there's a nationwide call for healthcare workers. And so that is a great time for you to be coming out of Ohio State, ready to start your healthcare career. So what I want you to do is think about um, what unique role that you can play during this time. When I left here to go, I sort of wasn't sure what was going to happen to me. It was a time of great change in the 1980s because then the need was for specialized imaging professionals. And Ruth and I left this building in 1981 to take our work jobs in the medical center and we had to begin training yet again because we did not have all the skills that we needed. That is not the case for you because your time has no change like that. You are the specialized healthcare workers that we so desperately need. 
So given this time and change that we're looking at, I want you to think about some specific things that you can do to make yourselves ready. My first tip to you is while we're waiting for all of the changes and the stay-at-home orders and things like that nature to be lifted, I would encourage you to study specifically for your board examinations. That's something that you can do. This quiet time provides you with that. I'd also say beyond getting ready for your examinations, you should also think about those specialized portions of the curriculum that you experienced. Each of you has special training now, uniquely different than I had. I think you should think about dosimetry, MRI, fetal echo. Each of those is a specialized area that some of you have unique experience and content education. Work on those to enhance your portfolio for this very unique time that we're facing. And the lastly, I just think while we're waiting for um, changes in hiring freezes, uh, we're waiting for Pearson View to start allowing for testing again, these are all strategies that you can use that are gonna actually make you a better candidate and ultimately a better worker. So congratulations to each and every one of you. You are part of the 48th class graduating from our, pro from our division and our programs. I wanna thank our faculty because behind the scenes you may not have seen all the tremendous work that they have done. This was a time of great disruption, and this was a time of change in our faculty. And those folks that I employ have worked tirelessly to convert face-to-face -face education to online content, and that is not an easy thing to do. So I hope in different ways that you will thank our faculty as appropriate for all the efforts that they've done. They are my unsung heroes throughout this tremendous time of disruption. Um, lastly, I just want to say thank you to all of you for your patience and your diligence and, of course, for this amazing moment that you are poised to provide amazing health care to the citizens of the United States. Thank you and also remember that we are about to celebrate our 50th anniversary as a division providing radiologic education. So I look forward to you now as alumni joining us in celebrating our rich history of educating folks for 50 years. Congratulations and go Bucks!